In this lesson, you're going to learn how to detect user input on the keyboard within your JavaScript code. So there might be times when you need to set up some shortcuts, hotkeys, or just generally listen to some of the user input that they're typing, especially if you're working on a larger web application. And we can do that in our JavaScript code by setting up an event listener for listening to a certain specific keyboard event. And the event I'm going to listen to is the key down event, which occurs when the user actually taps down one of the keys on their keyboard. And as the second argument, I'm going to accept the event parameter, which for the moment I'll just log out to the console. So now when I type something within the page, you can see our event object has lots of different properties which are useful to determine what the user's actually just typed. For example, the event has a particular code, so we can work out which key the user's depressed. I actually typed in a lowercase e, which has got a code of key e, which isn't very helpful, but if we scroll down a little bit more, you can see that within our event object, there is a key property which has the actual key that I just typed in. You can also see there's a key code property, and you might come across some older code where there's some logic around which key code the user's actually entered to determine the actual value or the key that they actually pressed. So most modern browsers will have the ability to just access the key property directly, so you don't need to remember anymore what the key code is and what that number represents. A good example is when the user presses the spacebar or another special button on the keyboard, for example. You can see the key code is set as 32, which we wouldn't know what that meant just on its own, but you can see the key property has a blank one character string represented by the spacebar, and we can also confirm that by the code of the keyboard event, which is also space. So you might have noticed that there are a lot of other properties as well, and there are two really useful ones that you might want to make use of within your code, and that is the control key property, and also the shift key property too. And as the name suggests, they'll actually be true when the user has hit one of those modifier buttons, so you can even work out when the user's pressed a combination of buttons, which might help when you're setting up things like shortcuts if you're trying to create a save function, for example. So we could do something like this with the information that we've got available to us. So we might do something like this where we're listening for a key down event and if the user holds down control and presses the S key, we'll actually just create a pop-up after we've done some functions in terms of saving whatever the user has on the page. So using this technique by checking a combination of the properties of the keyboard event, you can set up your own shortcuts or unique functions when the user types something within your JavaScript code.